Reacher's about three times. He'd look at me and say, mind the Lord, Ronnie. I was wanting to get up here, jump up here, and start in on this lesson. <laughs> but I know, see, it's not about me. And I didn't want all these other teachers. They prepared. They worked hard. Wouldn't have been fair to them. But I was wanting to jump up here Never so bad. Come on, buddy. And now... Now's your time. Oh. Now... Uh, I really don't know what to do. <laughs> Help him, Lord. Lift him up, church. Yes. Let's do this. I can tell you I was nothing. <laughs> I'd be telling I'd be telling the truth. I could say I was worthless, a hopeless sinner, always true. That's just part of the story. That's just part of the story. <laughs> Amen. I haven't told everything here yet. Bless you. See, I was lost, reborn, and raised. Out of the kitchen. Hey. Well, you might say, well, how in the world could you stand up here this morning? Say such a say thing. Say such a thing. To say I'm royal. And my father's the king. Well, I'd have to take you. <laughs> To this altar right here yeah. that happened 16 years ago. See, I met this king, his name was Jesus. Uh -huh. I was washed in his blood. Yeah. That's all I know. And I'm a royal descendant this morning of a king, Jerusalem. I'm part of the bloodline, David. That's who I am. Yes. Uh, and I claim Kendrick. Oh, I do too. Yes. Yeah. I do too. Isaac, Jacob, and Abraham. Yes. I'm a child of God this morning. Yes. Yeah. In this Word of God, we find several places that Jesus and the Word of God mentions the word adoption. Mm -hmm. Oh, my, 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 my. God is wanting to adopt you this morning. Yes. yes. If you're lost this morning, if you're lost this morning, you're an orphan. Out of the commonwealth and not in the family of God. Nothing more that I like better this morning is to call somebody new this morning my brother or my sister. And I can do that if you'll listen to the Lord and accept your adoption. Mm -hmm. The papers have been signed over 2,000 oh, years ago. Oh, listen, listen. Jesus Christ died on the Not cross of Calvary. To, take you in. to say it, to adopt every single one of us. John 12, 1, 12 said, as many as received, he gave them power to become the sons of God to them that believed in him. Yeah, that's right. That's all it takes. Uh -huh. Help it, Lord. You're standing here this morning and say, I'm all right. <clears throat> I'm not in that bad of shape. Believe me, you're an orphan. You don't realize. You don't realize what you're missing out on. You're standing 
and eating the crumbs of what the enemy, the Satan, is throwing to you. And you could be sitting at the table feasting with the king. You may look at men this morning and say, you don't look like much. You don't look like it. You're royal. Uh huh. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. The Word of God said, Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew not Him. Beloved, now are we the sons of God. But it does not. But it does not yet appear <laughs> what we shall be. Yeah. Oh, but, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. My, my, my. You may not see it this morning, <laughs> because you're looking on the outside. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got something on the inside. Yeah, family resemblance. Yeah. It makes me roar. Yeah. See, when God looks at me, He ain't looking on the outside. He's looking jinky right on the inside. Yeah. Our lesson today, Galatians, for we are the children of God, how? By faith, in Christ Jesus. For as many of you have been baptized into Christ, but have put on Christ. For as many of you have been baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. Now let me stop right there. Paul's not talking about a water baptism. I heard about one of my favorite preachers, Paul Ford, said one time, you could be baptized and you go down to the river and you could be plunged underneath there so many times that the fish and the bullfrog would know you by your first name. <laughs> And they're not going to help you a bit. John the Baptist said, I baptize you by water. Oh, but listen. But the one comes after me that's preferred before me. Yeah. Than I. <laughs> who's mightier than I. When he cometh, he's going to baptize you. Fire and the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That's yeah. the baptism Paul's talking about. Yeah. That baptism, when you receive Christ and put on Christ, that Holy Spirit, that Holy Ghost, it comes down inside. Once that happens, you're a brand new creature. Paul goes on and says there's neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male or female, for we are all in one in Christ Jesus. We're all the same. There ain't no big eyes, little use. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Everybody's the same. We put on Christ. We receive His Spirit. And if ye be Christ, then ye are Abraham's seed mm -hmm. and heirs. Blessed be thy name. Heirs according to the promise. God told Abraham. <coughs> He said, I'll make your seed as, as grains of sand on the sea. Mm -hmm. John the Revelator said, I've seen a number that no man can number. Now listen. Now I say <coughs> that an heir, as long as he's a child, yeah. he differed nothing from a servant. Though he be Lord of all, but he is under tutors, governors, until the time appointed by the Father. Even so, when we were a child, we were embodied <laughs> under the elements of this world. <laughs> we were all under the law, the Mosaic law. Sadly, so many people today, and I'm talking to Christians, they still don't get it. <laughs> they still think it's by the work they do. Uh -huh. They still think it's by how good of a person 
they are. Mm -hmm. They still think it's something that they can do to acquire, yeah. to get the salvation. Amen. And as long as your mind said, you're thinking that, Paul said you're just the same as a child. Mm -hmm. It don't matter. You're thinking that. You're the same as a servant. Mm -hmm. Under the school. When I, <clears throat> when my children was small, we had a wheel. That wheel said that if Cheryl and I would pass away, that our everything we own would go to our children, but it would go into a trust fund. Mm -hmm. They couldn't touch it. Someone else, a governor, yep. a tutor, yep. or somebody would direct them Tell them what they could and couldn't do. Mm -hmm. huh? Come on. <laughs> right? Right. Would you hand hundreds of thousand dollars to an eight-year-old? <laughs> no. Not if you wanted it to last. <laughs> Would you hand everything over to a little child, even though it belonged to him? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. It was his. Yeah. Oh, but he didn't understand how to take care of it. He didn't know what it meant. Didn't get it, did he didn't get it. Mm -mm. He didn't know how precious it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or what it took to get it. Yeah. That's right. That's right. But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent for this son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we may receive what? Adoption of sons. <laughs> that we may be received the adoptions of sons. When Jesus Christ came to this earth, God sent him at the perfect time. Come on, buddy. It was the perfect time. The law had done, did everything God had sent forth in to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Jesus came to fulfill that law. The law did was for one purpose. To show man that we was sinful. To show man that we was all sinners, James. The law came to condemn every one of us. To put us in perspective to know where we stood with God Almighty. The law came to tell us that we was lost. No hope. No way out. God let the law run its course to every man could see. There was no way he could keep it. There was no way he was good enough to know he was a sinner and he knew there was something else. He had to have. When that law fulfilled, James, ever <laughs> run its course and went as far as it could go. Yeah. At the perfect time, he said, Jesus wrote. Mm -hmm. He said, Jesus under the law, mm -hmm. born of a woman. Under the law. Uh, Amen. Fully God, fully man. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amazing. Perfect. Mm -hmm. yes. Never sin. Mm -hmm. Fulfilled every job. Never did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Perfectly done. <laughs> Died on the cross. That's right. Took my sin, the one that was oh, sinless. What about that, <laughs> The yeah. one that was hey, sinless. Man. Never committed a sin ever. Uh -huh. Took my sin. Yeah. Took the law off my back. Yeah. And nailed it to the cross. Hey, he did way more than that. He said, you're not only saved. Uh, not only forgiven. You're my brother. Right. You're part of the family. Yeah. 
doctor. I'm going to adopt you. Come in my house. Uh -huh. Partake of everything. Yeah, all you are. Hallelujah. All you got to do is accept it. I'll give it to you. morning, Zach, that one word in a paragraph, one word in your article can mean change the whole meaning <laughs> yeah. or give yep. a different meaning. Yeah. John, St. John, first chapter said, in the beginning was the Word. Mm -hmm. The Word was with God. Mm -hmm. The Word was God. That's right. And the word became flesh to dwell among men. When Jesus was tempted by Satan, Man. what did he say? He said he was hungry. He had fasted yeah. for 40 days and 40 nights. And the <laughs> devil knew that. He knew he was the hungry. devil knew that starving he was starving to yeah, death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The devil knew that he was hadn't drunk or eat, and he was at his end. Uh -huh. He said, if you'll worship me, I'll give you some bread and some water. And what did Jesus say? Oh, that's, that's he written. said, man Can't live by shall not live by bread alone, but every word, word that, proceeds that proceedeth yes. out of the mouth of God. Do we all agree on that? Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, we know that this word of God didn't come by the will of man. Mm -hmm. We know that it was holy men of God moved upon as by the Holy Spirit instructed mm -hmm. to write it. Do we agree with that? Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, if you go in this Bible and we see the what is written in red, most of it's mm -hmm. in red, mm -hmm. and we know that Jesus is him speaking himself. Right. Yep. And we don't ex we don't establish now Jesus is God. God is Jesus. They're all twain. They're all one. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we should really, <laughs> really listen to what Jesus said right. because it's coming straight out of the mouth, mouth of, of God. God. That's right, yep. Okay, all right, now listen. I'm getting back to the, our lesson here. What I'm trying Come to explain now. what this scripture means when we cry, Abba, Father. Okay. No doubt his disciples, Zach, had listened to Jesus pray. Yes. And oh man, mm -hmm. I, I get chills on me sometimes oh when gosh. Richard prays. But oh, can you imagine Jesus praying and Son, talking, talking, to, to the talking straight to the Father? Okay. Well, the disciples said, uh, they was impressed. They said, yeah. <laughs> teach, us, teach us how to pray. Yeah, show we, me how to do that. Tell us how to pray, Lord. Yeah. 
Okay, now listen to what Jesus said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. He said, when, now when you pray, you pray this way. Or, <laughs> or, or possessive. Or, Coming to us. Our Father, mm -hmm. which art in heaven. Oh, hallowed be thy name. Oh, yeah. Holy. Now get back. Let's go back. He could have said you pray, Heavenly Father. Uh -huh. He could have said, pray, Mighty God. Mm -hmm. He could have used a lot of things. Uh -huh. But he said, this is what he said. A it's his words. A plural possessive. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is his words. He said, now, Zach, someone now when you pray, you Let say, our Father. <laughs> My Father, <laughs> your, your Father. father yeah. That's when the Spirit comes and dwells inside you. That's Christ's Spirit dwelling inside you. That's Jesus speaking out for you. He said, our Father, my, my Father, your Daddy. Father. Daddy. <laughs> That's why we can say, our Heavenly Father, which art in heaven. Hallowed uh -huh. be thy name. Said, Wherefore thou art no more servant but a son. And if a son be an heir, yeah. be an heir of God through Christ. God made some promises. And I believe everyone he made. I take them to heart. That's right. I know they're for me. Revelation said, He that come up overcometh shall inherit all things. Everything I got. You overcome, you'll inherit everything. And I will be his God. He shall be my son. What a wonderful promise. God said, I wish Brother Lee was here this morning. You haven't seen nothing yet. The best is yet to come. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. Uh -huh. Everything. No, I may not look much like to you this morning. But I'm telling you, I'm a child of God. I'm glad I'm part of the family of God. Part of that song said, I may not deserve it, but I know I belong. You know, I thought about that so many, I thought about that this morning. The world looks at us They look on the outside. But God looks on the inside. And God, through His Son Jesus, came to not only save us, but to make us His sons mm -hmm. and daughters. One more thing. One more thing before I give it back to Richard. Go back to Revelation. Son of Revelation song. We know how the four beasts and the 24 elders are all around the throne of God. And this thing was about ready to wrap up. The land that was slain from the foundation of the earth. He was starting to open the seals of the earth and it was starting to all come to the head. John, he was standing in amazement and fear. He was looking all around and there was an elder standing beside him. And John looked <laughs> and the elder asked him a question. He said, what is this? Who is these arrayed in white robe? Oh my God. John says, Sir, <laughs> thou knowest. 
He said, these are the ones that come out of the great tribulation who had washed their robes in, in the blood of the Lamb and made their self ready. Yes. You don't see it this morning. But do you know what that elder could have said? That elder could have said, that's old Richard Harold. That's old Jiggy. That's Rose. That's Bobby Little. That's Jessica Kirk. Oh. Arrayed in a white robe, spotless. Not a spot, not a blemish with a glow on. The beautiful, more beautiful than the angels. <laughs> That's the sons of God coming home. All you got to do this morning is accept the paperwork. My birth certificate is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. The day I gave my life and was reborn, I became a son of God. My birth certificate is written down in the Lamb's Book of Life, never to be removed. Nobody can open that book. Nobody is worthy to open that book but Jesus Christ. All you got to do is accept it. Jesus is standing at the door. Wanting you to come in. Wanting to save your soul. Wanting to make you, give you the power. Give you the power. What power? The Spirit of God. The Holy Ghost. Let it come inside you. <laughs> Therefore you can cry, I'm a Father. He will save your soul. Bring you in his house. Give you everything he's got. All you got to do is accept it this morning. All you, it's up to you. God is not going to force you. God is not going to drag you in. God is not going to kick your door open. But he said, Help. he's going to knock on the door. And if any man will open, he'll come in and he'll sup with them. And they will sup with him. That's simple. Why don't you, why don't you become yes. part of the family this morning? Yes, amen. Why don't you come join this wonderful family called the family of God? You too can be a brother or a sister. It's up to you. Amen. Let's say I was nothing. Sorry, that.
Yeah.